NHS waiting times, which we haven't hit on yet. Ella, you picked that up in the uh, Daily Mail. Mm. Um, and this is a front-page story on the Mail. Yes, the, I mean, we are well used to stories about yeah, exactly. NHS waiting times. It's nothing new. But what the Mail is picking up on is the fact that it's asking the question, the headline is, where is all our extra NHS money going? And it picks up on the fact that Despite this um, hike in the national insurance, 1.25% um, in rise in, in that, which was supposed to be, you know, it was billed and, and talked about in the kind of political circles mm. as this big boon for the NHS. Um, but the Mail reports that actually um, the number of people who had to wait more than 12 hours in A&E has jumped by a third um, in, in just a month. Ambulance so is queuing up. We're being told cancer uh, referrals still not where they should be. So, mm. you know, quite a, a, a interesting just you, question as to what's happening in the dynamics, the mechanics of it. Exactly. If you were, if you, it's actually its highest, you know, reaching its highest ever level of, highest ever level of almost 30,000. And if you were being, if you were being particularly generous, you'd say, well, hang on a minute. It's only just recently that it's got the new money. Um, you know, give it some time. But the, the story of the NHS has always been that it has been, ha it has had money thrown at it again yeah, and yeah. again and again. And the question is, if we want to have, which I you know, very strongly believe in, um, a, health, a national health service that has that kind of the, the na political narrative behind it of looking after a nation, if you're simply throwing what sounds like throwing money down the drain because nothing is changing, then you have to look at the structure of the NHS and what, where, you know, the makeup of it, how it works. And the mail picks up uh, on the inside pages on the fact that, of course, there is this controversy around the fact that the NHS is continuing to hire diversity and inclusion officers who are being paid £76,000 and above a year, which I'm sure many <laughs> viewers and listeners will think, what a waste of money at a time hey, when... nurses. Yeah, when, yeah, at a time when grannies are waiting on trolleys in, you know, in the corridors of A&E. But there's also a question of, you know, the, what is the NHS meant to do for us? I think it's become this incredibly bloated institution that, you know, spends a lot of its time telling us what to eat or having kind of certain campaigns that are overtly political and not necessarily related to health and not spending the money on... You know, seeing cancer patients, emergency care, paying nurses, mm. uh, employing more GPs, that kind of thing. Mm. I was actually uh, listening on the way in this morning about waiting times, and I think it's the, the highest mm. July mm -hmm. um, in, in a very and, long and time. Worry, what, Twelve what's hours. The winter, yeah. Yeah, yeah. twelve hours and, and more. So yeah, exactly what's going to happen in just a few months' time.